Hi, I'm Jeremiah and welcome back to my workshop. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these nesting apple boxes. Look at that. Pretty cool. Okay, so what is an apple box? An apple box is something used in film production. It's generally every movie set you'll ever go to will have a bunch of these. And they're really handy. You can sit on them, you can put actors on to raise them up, you can put equipment on, you can raise up sets and props, and it's just, they're everywhere and they're super useful. And they come in several sizes. This one is a nesting apple boxes. Not all of them nest, but what I have is a full apple. I have a pancake, which is one inch. Full apple is eight inches. Then you have a quarter apple, which is two inches and then you have the half apple, which is four inches. So it's nice to have the, the ability to nest them because um, they pack away easily and uh, they'll take up a lot of space. And yeah, I just love this guy. So let me show you how I made them. This is my second time using the uh, Makita track saw. It has this amazing rubber underneath that it, it, it doesn't slide. It's amazing. It stays in place. Cutting cheat goods like this, I like it. I don't have a big table saw, so to be able to cut sheets like this, it, this is the perfect solution. I'm just borrowing this. I need to buy one. <laughs> Okay, so I've got everything cut out and to size, but before I can glue it up, I need to cut the holes in for the handles. So I've got um, these two that need to be cut, and I got these three, and then I got these that need to be cut. Because I have a CNC mill, I thought, well, why not? <laughs> overly complicate this and have the mill do it. So that's what I'm gonna get set up to do now. As you can see here, I have 3D modeled the entire uh, apple box set up. So I've got the full apple and then the half apple and the quarter apple all uh, modeled up and then the pancake as well. So in the manufacturer tab, I have my setup here to do the cutting out the pocket. It's gonna use a quarter inch end mill and just plow out all of that wood. And then it'll go in and do a cleanup right here. And then move on to the other one.
There we go. Couple more. For the quarter apple, I'm just gonna drill two holes using a Forstner bit on my drill press. It's easier. I wanna round over the handholds so that they're a nice soft hold. So I've got my Router, I <laughs> uh, don't have a router table, so this is the best I can do. Uh, I've got it attached to the uh, to my table saw, and I'm just gonna come in and round over and yeah, try to be as safe as possible. <laughs> That's nice. Now I can assemble. Gives you a little lip to pick it up on. I may have gone a little overboard on the glue. Cool, so that's the pancake. Now I just gotta let it, now I just have to let it dry and then I can round over the edges and sand it and then all I have left is the full apple. That's the tricky one. Okay, it's been a little bit of a journey. I've been a little nervous about cutting the grooves that allow for the um, removable face here, but I think I figured it out and I got it dialed in. So I cut uh, these grooves here, or these, what do you call that, a rabbit? No, a dado. Post in the comments what, uh, what that is. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then the other thing I have here is these grooves here 
and it took some like trial and error to get them right, just perfect. But um, as you can see, it does work. And obviously it'll, it'll be a little smoother once it's all glued up. And then the idea is that you slide this out and then these can all nest inside. So I got wax paper and I wrapped it around the three boxes that are nesting. And I'm going to now uh, glue it up. But I wanted to make sure that it was wrapped with wax paper so that none of the glue would squeeze out and get over the, on the boxes that I've already finished. Because that would be annoying. So I think I'm ready to do the final construction. So here we go. There's glue on it, but just on the wax paper, so that's good. All right, little sanding it goes in and out fine. So the final step is to engrave the logo on the apple boxes. So I've got my laser engraver. So here we go. Done. So why am I making an Apple box? Okay, so my old life, I was a filmmaker, I was a producer at Disney, I was on film sets all the time, and Apple boxes were everywhere. Flash forward to now, I've actually, in the last couple of years, started teaching film at a hybrid homeschool uh, where my nieces and nephews go to school. And so, yeah, we didn't have any Apple boxes and I wanted to teach the kids the, the different grip gear. And so an Apple box is ubiquitous, it's everywhere, it's, the thing that's on every film set. And I feel like, you know, you shouldn't be able to go through my film classes without knowing what's an Apple box, how to use them, why do you use them, and uh, just how helpful they are. The school is called Ardia, so I decided to laser engrave the school's logo and name on the um, Apple boxes. So here you go, my nesting Apple boxes, complete with laser engraved logo. Now I will say, everybody that I've watched tutorials on and recommendations, they say use at least a five ply plywood, like Baltic birch. Um, I went cheap and I got three ply and I really wish I hadn't. Um, I don't know if these will be as strong or as durable over the years, but at least, you know, they'll work for a good long while. I would say yes, definitely spring for the extra money and um, get the five ply at least. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.